Now again, the goal was to take the user model that came from Postman here, whoops, here, and I wanted to store that inside an actual database. So I need to get this data inside the schema. Now the way we do this with um, the Mongoose setup is we take the user schema and we generate something we call a model. Now think of the model as a way for us to be able to make all the CRUD functionalities against a database. Like if we wanted to do a save, we would do an insert, right? If we wanted to do a delete, we would do a delete. If we wanted to do an update, uh, how we would handle that. If we wanted to do a read, we would do a find, right? So we would handle all of the different CRUD setups. So we need to make a model that can take care of that. And that's what you do when you say mongoose model and you pull in a user schema, you can define a way for us to make a constructor that can generate all of these different functions that are available, like the save function. We'll look into more later, but that's one of the functions. So what I want to do now is I want to say add a user model that can take care of saving the data to the database. Now this model is going to need the request body that we built earlier, so it's going to take the data from here and it's going to send it into the model. Then we can say save and we will actually store information in the database. If everything goes well, we'll get a callback that says the things went well. If we got an error, this will be posted. There'll be information here. If we didn't, we'll actually return the user that we just saved in the database. So what we'll do is we'll say JSON here again, and we'll say if something goes well, we'll actually return the user. Right now it will go well, so this will be enough. We'll save everything, and I'll try and do a post. Notice what happens. I actually sent this to the database. I get a reply with something new. I not only get the name back, I actually also get an ID back. Why? because we just stored the data in a real database inside our Mongo. So let's try and refresh. A new database pops up called Sybil Test. It has collection, it has users, and inside users, we have a few guys in here because I actually did it a few times now. <laughs> let's just destroy the table just to show you once again. I'm dropping the table and I'm just going to try and do it again here from Postman, doing a send, going back to my RoboMongo, doing a refresh, Notice now it's back, and this time there should only be one user in here. Congratulations, you just made your first real call through a REST API that actually stores data in a database and gives a reply back to the client that we actually stored something. See you next time.